away from equaling the Premier League record. Can he hit the milestone today on EA TV? And hello on a very pleasant day for football here at the Etihad Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, excited to be bringing you match commentary. And alongside me, my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Manchester City up against Newcastle United. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Now a decent position. Shelby. Sam Maximin. Well, really rifling that one in, and he didn't miss by much. And so the starting 11 for Manchester City. John Stone starts alongside Nathan Ake in central defence. Ilkay Gundogan plays with Kevin De Bruyne in the centre of midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. Calvin Phillips. It's with Gundogan. Well, it's always a great thrill to watch Erling Haaland in action. He can be absolutely unstoppable, and we should expect that he'll have a prominent role to play in this one, Stuart. Well, just take a look at those stats, Derek. It paints the perfect picture for you. Opportunity! A really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? Kevin De Bruyne with the corner. Oh, good save. Excellent header. It'll be a corner. Grealish and now Stones lost possession this might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity Matt Ritchie happy to pass the ball but remaining patient can they forge ahead keeper well they should be ahead now yes it was a good save Derek but he should score from there who can he pick out well, a bit short with the clearance and in the end no damage done Grealish Gundogan it is advantage Manchester City here Gundogan. It's with Porro. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Stones. Ake. De Bruyne now. Phillips. Very comfortable when in possession. And the danger's still on. And they can't quite take advantage in the end. Matt Ritchie. Sam Aximan. Ball with Shelby. Fraser. He continues his run. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Shelby. And return to Fraser. Sir Maxima. Slipshod passing. Jack Grealish. Gundogan. And Gomez. On to Grealish. De Bruyne. Here's Grealish. Gundogan! And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating.
Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Fraser. And a goal kick after that poor touch. Calvin Phillips and now Stones Gundogan so getting close to the half-time interval and it's going with home advantage albeit not by a lot Stuart what have you made of what you've seen so far well it's been a tight game so far but they've just had that little bit more quality on them well flinging himself at the ball and now the delivery Foiling them effectively. Stones. Gomez now. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. He cuts it back. And well, he stopped them in their tracks. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? Hayden. Ball with Sam Maxima moving the ball forward with purpose. Sam Maxima Richie Gomez Shelby and the keeper showing tremendous command. Played over by Fraser here. Well, he took care of it defensively. What about the stoppage time situation? Two in with a chance. And turned onto the woodwork. De Bruyne. Excellent use of advantage from the referee in City's favour. Holland. Now with Grealish. And there it is, the goal they wanted for security. They lead by two now. They can breathe that bit more easily. Well, just watch this again. It's a really good goal, but it's no surprise, is it? They've been in complete control here. So the referee blows his half-time whistle and it's all going to plan for Manchester City. They hold the advantage at the interval. Well, before the game, we talked about their defensive record, but it's the forwards who have been still in the limelight today. They've been so sharp, plenty of movement, and if the first half is anything to go by... I... So off and running again. And there was a big gulf in class in the first 45. Will we see an improved effort from Newcastle in the second? Maximiliano Gomez. Hayden. Trippier now. Shelby. Well read to put an end to that attack. Gundogan. And a quick reminder, we have FA Cup quarter-final action for you to enjoy here on EA TV. It's Newcastle United facing West Ham United. Well, Derek, everything to play for in that game. Oh, hang on, Stuart. Big chance here. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time.
Fraser. And he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. Stones. Ake has it. Happy just to retain the ball in their own half and draw out the opposition. Well, City, as the stats highlight, have had most of the ball and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. And news of a goal at Anfield. Let's hear more from Alex Scott. It's a goal for Villa. They are now losing 2-1 with 57 minutes played. Thanks as always, Alex. Sam Maxima. Gomez. Shelby. Fraser. Highly honed defensive skills and evidence from Gundogan. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. And Manchester City moving the ball with purpose. Chance to cross. And you need your defender to take charge. Matt Ritchie. And Gomez with it. Shelby. Maximiliano Gomez. Hayden. Shelby. Now moving the ball impressively here. Defended well. Sergio Gomez. It's with Gundogan. Gundogan. And now it's Phillips. Gundogan. Erling Haaland. And there it is. Three goals in front now. An immense performance. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. looking rather comfortable for them 3-0 Hayden well possibilities in the centre is this the moment oh wonder goal right out of the top drawer who could do better than that Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area. But should the keeper be beaten at his near post? I don't think so. He really needs to do better in those situations. Newcastle well, that's a tale of four goals in this match now. 3-1 it is. And into the last 15 minutes of action. And very deftly cut out. Well, the seconds are ticking away, and the home side in control. Stuart, what have you made of this? Yeah, clearly the better side. Obviously being fantastic up front, but it's their work ethic for me. They're just not happy. And how about that for a save? Played over by Fraser here. No keeper will mind that sort of corner.
Right, let's join Alex Scott for an update. Alex, I believe a goal at Anfield. It's another for Aston Villa. It was a poor, poor clearance. And then it was far too easy for him after that. It's now level at 2-2 with 10 minutes left on the clock. Cheers, Alex. Well, just went a bit too early. Offside. And it is substitution time at this juncture. Not just from one side, but from both. Number 20, Bernardo Silva. Substitution for Newcastle United. Coming off the pitch, number 8, John Joe Shelby. Coming onto the pitch, number 7, John Linton. Uh, Maxima and the pass over hit Silva Pedro Porro here's Alvarez and Bernardo Silva has it now Gundogan Bernardo Silva now with Grealish. A really top-notch piece of defending. Maximiliano Gomez. Delightful pass. Opportunity missed. Substitution for Manchester City. Coming off the pitch, number 10, Jack Grealish, to be replaced by number 47, Phil Foden. And there's the final whistle. It goes into the books as a City victory. Well, they've been great defensively, as we know, but it was all about their front players today. Their movement, awareness of space, and speed of thought was just too much for their opponents. They could have won this by a lot more.